Constructing this modern industrial wonder took just two years. If you're going to build a wind farm, the first thing you do is stick the cable in it. 240 miles of cabling. If you can have it on the film, aren't you? you're going to see it reeling off the drum. I saw a picture of that. SD cabling. SD. So yeah, right, get the cable out there. Right, then we're going to put the base in. See, the base has to be piled 30 metres into the seabed. Back in Hull, a bespoke ship is filled with a toolkit of parts. And the load, four setups there. So four nacelles, four sets of blades, four towers on one ship. So 24 hours to load it, sail it out, and then build away. We put the 500 ton tower onto that base that you've piled into the seabed, and on top of that, we put the 500 ton generator cell, right? Then we've got the blade on top of that and the centerpiece on top of that centerpiece, which holds the blade. One turbine takes 24 hours to build and can be erected in winds up to 26 miles per hour. Yes, let's put it into a bit of a blue say perspective. Would we say that? Would we say that? Right, yeah, so it's all right me saying how much the tower weighs and how much the nacelle weighs and all that. Well, it's a bit like picking 100 elephants on the top of Big Ben. That's a lot of weight. Well, you wouldn't want it on your toes, would you? Right on schedule, the wind farm appears. Even from here, you get the idea of the scale of the wind park. A sight Guy is quite unprepared for. Holy f***. Look at the size of them. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's swear. I've got to do that justice. <laughs> yeah, this is RMC2, and we're in the middle of it. 180 square miles, right? That's the size of the Isle of Man. To fly from one end to the other in a straight line is 20 minutes in a helicopter. And that, 20 minutes. <laughs> what is f***ing yeah. Time and a place to swear in India. Yeah, biggest wind farm in the world. There's the numbers, right? 165 of those, 8 megawatts apiece. This wind farm is a fair sized power station, but it has the potential to power 1.4 million homes when it's on full song. So we're not very windy today, are we? So I doubt very much that we're on full song today, but whatever. They're in a lot of winds, but they're all turning. Look at them. 165 of the buggers. OK, if you want to start to bring the speed off. The helicopter lands on the Wind of Hope, a dedicated ship costing tens of millions that is part mobile helipad, part accommodation for 60 technicians who live here two weeks at a time. Eight million watts, right? That's a lot of energy. And creating that amount of energy, we create a right load of heat. That's why we've got these four massive radiators, right? But on side of that, that's where all the trade secrets are. We can't really show you in there. That's all, uh, what do they say? Intellectual property, that's what they say. Everything is designed to extract as much energy from a breath of wind as efficiently as possible. We can alter the pitch of the blade, right? So if we've got very little wind, we turn it so we're getting as much area of the blade into the wind as possible. And then we've got too much wind, we can turn it right out of the wind like that. So we're just showing a little bit of blade to the wind just to keep it in its sweet spot. That's the plan. And then if we're doing service work, I can turn it. Like that. That's a lot of blade though, that's 81 metres, that voice. Bloody hell, it's quick and all, isn't it, really? Some hydraulic pump for that. The latest deals for wind farm electricity have been struck at £37 per megawatt hour, a third of the most recent nuclear price, and roughly half of gas. Plans for the even bigger Hornsey 3 and 4 are well underway. I am absolutely baffled, absolutely baffled to the UK power industry. How could it possibly add up? Because the only thing that's paying for any of this is the electric bill. Everything that we have done throughout this wind turbine project has just been expense, expense, expense. Yet, this is still the cheapest energy in the country today. Offshore wind is expensive to build, but it is cheap to run. Wind farms make electricity without ever having to be refueled, without creating any waste, 
and without producing carbon dioxide at the point of generation. It is the perfect energy solution, almost. This is amazing because we found something, which is great. Yeah, yeah, it's great when the wind's blowing. I thought the wind doesn't blow all the time. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Let me tax is here. We must get cracking. Come on, they're waiting for us. <laughs>